Hi and welcome to Creator Fundamentals. My name is Dan Courier and it is my mission to simplify YouTube so you and I can grow together. Today I want to talk about how to rank a video, specifically how to rank number one in YouTube search in 2018. If you haven't noticed, I've been focusing on 2018 to get everybody ready to go uh, and get their channels uh, at maximum capacity so you guys can hit the ground running in 2018. To do that, you have to basically understand how the whole keyword research process works and uh, implement that on every video. So what we're going to do tonight, I'm going to go through um, some information regarding uh, keyword research and then if you have any specific uh, topics that you would like me to um, do examples on as far as how the keyword research process would work for your particular niche we can do that as well uh, but uh, so I'm gonna present you some information give you an overview of how the process works how I go about it for every video and then we can go from there all right so basically what I'm going to do I'm gonna go through the process with a keyword research and example uh, and then once I do that we will look at specific examples if you guys have anything that you want me to take a look at but uh, uh, what we're going to do is we're going to transition over and take a look at exactly how this process works for you. Okay, so when you're trying to rank a video, uh, I mean, ideally what you want to do when trying to rank um, in YouTube search is to try to do some planning before you actually create the video. A lot of times people will create uh, a video and then they will try to decide what keywords relate to the video. Ideally, you want to think of your topic in the beginning. Um, so in this case, I'm going to use an example of uh, how to grow your how to grow your channel. Obviously, this is something that I would um, tackle on my channel much better. All right, so say I wanna make a video about growing your channel. I come in here, I type grow your channel, and there are 16 million results. Now my, cha my channel is 550 subscribers right now, so it's still uh, very small, and it's gonna be hard for me to rank on grow your channel. So the next thing I would wanna do in this case is to figure out, uh, kinda hone in on um, exactly what keyword phrase I would use. So first of all, you come up with your topic. I want to do something about growing your channel. Okay, so how to grow your channel, grow your channel, one of those options. So come in here, start with grow your channel. As you can see, it has a lot of competition. One of the things you can do in search is if you type an underscore in a space, YouTube will show you uh, possible search terms that end in the topic that you're want, wanting to uh, rank in. In this case, it is grow your channel. It shows me how to grow your channel. Uh, you know, as an example, we'll take a look at how to grow your channel or how to grow your channel. We'll see. We're still at 16 million. So if you put your cursor at the end of your search term and you hit space, it'll give you some, some, some suggestions. Now it's going to provide you those suggestions uh, in uh, the order of competition. So we want to take a look at, so if we add fast to that, what's that do to it? Well, it cut it in half, um, but that's still 7 million is still a lot to tackle at a very small channel size so we want to continue to whittle this down again space um, if you have if you're currently subscribed to the channel you know I've been trying to focus a lot of videos on 2018 for a couple different reasons and we'll take a look at this and see now the biggest thing is you saw that went from 7 million results down to 163,000 results now that's something I feel like I can compete in and as you can see uh, I come up second in these search results because I took the general topic that I wanted to start with before I made my video, and then I started to figure out what my keyword phrase, phrase was going to be. And by doing that, now the 2018 is valuable for a couple of reasons. I started the focusing on 2018 back in October because one, I knew it would differentiate my search term from others in terms of what people are currently targeting. Uh, which means less competition. It also means that I had the better chance of establishing my channel uh, in that topic of the 2018 um, growth videos on YouTube before all of the really big channels did. And that can kind of help me get a footing uh, by the time these other channels start to create their videos. Um, you know, and again, the difference being you don't want to, if I did this same process, but I tackled and I tried to do, for example, Nick Nimmin 110 
somewhere around 110,000 subscribers, tons of views. Had I tried to uh, focus on the exact keyword phrase that he was using, I probably wouldn't be able to outrank him because he was focused on a slightly different phrase than I was. So you really want to, uh, you know, adjust that, tweak it. If you go through this process and you add these and you can't find something that lowers these search results, you can do variations. You can do, um, you know, like I said, variations on the theme. So instead of how to grow your channel fast, it could be how to grow your YouTube channel fast in 2018. Uh, or just how to grow your YouTube channel in 2018. You do all those variations till you find something with a lower search result that you can actually compete in. All right, so once you have settled in on that, on your keyword phrase, uh, in this case, I think we found a good one. It's how to grow your channel fast in 2018. Not a ton of results. I've decided this is the one that I'm going to use for my video. Then I would actually take this keyword phrase and that becomes the title of my video. Now, again, I haven't made the video yet when I determined this phrase. So that gives me a couple of advantages here. So for one thing, it becomes my title. It's also, I'm also going to repeat that in my description right away. I usually just um, you know, add it to the very beginning of my description. Um, and then it definitely needs to be one of your keywords exactly how it is stated here. So once you've done those three things, the fourth thing that you can do to take that to um, the next level and, and ensure that YouTube really knows what your video is going to be about, uh, that is to... Um, use that phrase exactly how you have chosen it uh, in the first few seconds of your video. So, uh, you know, if I was going to use this keyword phrase, and certainly I've used it a number of times, it'd be, hey, if you want to know how to grow your channel fast in 2018, make sure to stick around. You know, that provides the hook. It tells people exactly what the video is going to be about. And in the first few seconds of the transcription of your video, it tells YouTube what, that, what the content is all about. The ability to do these four things in your video and then have that exact... Um, keyword phrase that somebody searches for is going to help you get your videos ranked much higher uh, than you would otherwise. I'm just going to hop in the chat here real quick and see what is going on. All right. Say hello to a few people. A slow night tonight. All right. Let's see. We have Severin Johnson was in here early, earlier. Thank you for joining the stream. Hicks Video, appreciate you stopping by. Doug Houston, as always, I appreciate it. Rodney B. Hunt, apparently he was also having a live stream tonight. Sorry, I didn't catch that. British Cook, good to see you. Hawk Gaming. Chauvinism, hey man, good to see you. Glad you could join the stream. Adam, good to see you. And Nico's in the house. Nico from Morning Fame. So obviously we're talking about uh, how to rank a YouTube video, uh, how to get that number one ranking. So the basically the way this whole process works is the more you're willing to sacrifice or perhaps sacrifice isn't the right word, but the, the more you're able to lower the competition, the easier it is for you to get to the top of that list. And the way you want to approach it, especially when you have a small or a newer channel, is it is better to you know have that slow drip of views than no views at all. And it's also better to be first in something that has a thousand search results or a thousand uh, you know results that not a lot of people are searching rather than being on the 10th page or the, you know, the 500th result of something that everybody's searching. Because the reality is, even if a ton of people are searching it and you're that far down the list, you're not going to, um, you're not going to be found anyway. So you're not going to get those views. So what you basically want to do with determining your keyword phrase is to whittle down um, that competition. And you do that by, you um, you know, slowly expanding on that keyword phrase till you get to kind of your your zone, the sweet spot that you can actually compete against. And then you go from there. And once you've done that and you've used that as your title and description and, and uh, um, 
you know, your keyword phrase, then you start to build the rest of your keywords around it. All right, so I have a question for you guys. I, well, I don't know that you'd be able to notice it, but I'm trying out the little late latency tonight and it doesn't seem to be that, uh, that much better. I was really hoping that the low latency would allow me to have a better conversation with you, with you guys, but I still see that there's some delay there. So that is unfortunate, but we'll just uh, we'll just go with the flow. That's cool. It's also telling me that the stream is not the best. Is the video still clear? James Antique Man in the house. I appreciate you coming by the stream. <coughs> Hicks Video asks, I just made a promo video for a local DC area hot tub company. Any suggestions on keywords? In that case, it really depends on what the um, what the goal of the video is. If you're using it, if it's strictly for the company, uh, you would. I, I guess the bigger question is if is it just local audience, a local audience that you're trying to get there? Because I would imagine you could probably find general keyword phrases associated with hot tubs. Or hot tub companies uh, that uh, I mean we can certainly play around with that if you can um, give me a little bit more information we can take a look and, and try to piece together an actual keyword phrase that can get you some some results yeah definitely Hicks video if you want to if you're able to stick around we can pull up their channel and we can look at the video and see what it's all about. And we can definitely take a look and try to figure out what some good keyword phrases might be for that. And also, if anybody else has a particular video topic or a video that they want to look at, we can pull up the video, take a look at the keyword phrases and see how they compete. And see if uh, collectively we can come up with some, um, you know, some keyword phrases that might help them out better if, if you're not getting the kind of results you're looking for. Yeah, I mean, I, it, Hicks video says, yes, their content is only relevant to the Maryland, Virginia, D.C. area. Uh, but, um, yeah, we can take a look and see see what we can do with that. How has everyone um, been doing with their keyword research? Do you guys find that you're getting the results that you want? Are you able to uh, rank multiple keyword phrases on a single video and is that helping you to drive views from search makes it very challenging with there's there's such a delay in the chat right now <clears throat> now shamanism for those of you who don't know shamanism is a channel that does uh comedy or it was originally a comedy channel now it does comedy and um some other conversational topics uh, i believe they, he does one of each video during the week um and from what i've heard comedy it can be a much more difficult genre or niche to rank in because it is um sometimes the 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 content or the way in which people search for it's kind of generic um, but we could definitely take a look and try to find ways to do that as well all right so let me pull up Talk amongst yourselves momentarily. I want to bring up a video here. Mm -mm -mm. 
So yeah, apparently there were a ton of live streams today. I know I watched several live streams earlier in the day. All right. Um, what's a good one here? So I was talking earlier about uh, actually figuring out what your primary uh, keyword phrase is and then kind of um, branching out from that. And I just wanted to bring up an example. So in this case, obviously the keyword phrase that I was targeting was how to get your first 500 subscribers on YouTube in 2018. And then I kind of took that same theme and tried to look for other keyword phrases that were related to the specific topic. So in this case, I went, uh, how to get your first 500 subscribers in 2018. That's the main one. Uh, how to get your first 500 YouTube subscribers, how to get more subscribers on YouTube in 2018, tips for getting your first 500 subscribers, etc. You just uh, try to focus on little variations in that topic. And then hopefully, you know, rank some of them to do so. Oh, my stream health is a little funky at the moment. Let's see. <coughs> and I still <coughs> still have this wonderful cold. Yeah, so how do you guys typically do your keyword research? Are you using a separate tool like TubeBuddy or are you doing it right in YouTube? <clears throat> I'm curious to see how you guys tend to do that. Looking back, Rodney, I saw your lower ultra low. Is that the latency thing? I thought it just said low latency, but uh, I didn't see an option for ultra low. Maybe I overlooked it. Mm. All right, so let's... Dilly Dally Kids, thanks for joining the stream. I appreciate you stopping by. So what time was your live stream, Rodney? Hicks video says mostly just add keywords directly to YouTube. So, um, that, uh, what's the name of that channel Hicks video that you said you did the video on? Cause I think that that type of video might be kind of a challenge, but, uh, let's definitely take a look at it and see if we can come up with some, some ones that'll work. See, I mean, the other thing to consider with that type of video, though, because you're specific to a market, is that I would imagine that you would probably get the most benefit um, by sharing that video to certain um, either websites or groups or stuff that focused on that particular area. So you might actually be able to drive more traffic through sharing than you might by actual keyword phrases. But we can definitely take a look and see see what that looks like.
Seven thirty East Coast, Rodney. Yeah, Rodney, I'm considering moving to a weekly live stream and addressing top and doing it as part of my normal weekly routine. Oh, you sent the link. It actually lets you do a link. Um, are you? Sh I'm not. I don't know if it would. Oh, let's see. Let's try that. All right, I think I found it. And this looks kind of interesting. So maybe we'll do a group activity here about trying to find keyword phrases relevant to this. So here, let's see. And let's see if I can get the volume here. see if we can all hear this we all love to do things ourselves to save money but some things are better left to the professionals at capital hot tub and saunas we've been serving the dc metro area since 1990 with showrooms in clarksburg and rockville maryland and fairfax virginia see the latest from hot spring and free flow spas swim spas by endless pools and saunas by finlia we offer delivery, professional installation, and service on hot tubs and saunas. This holiday season, give the gift of relaxation with a new hot tub, swim spa, or sauna from Capital Hot Tubs and Saunas. Ask about our special financing options and have your system installed and ready for holiday fun. For more information, visit us online at capitalhottubs.com. So if any of you guys aren't using TubeBuddy, this is another great value of TubeBuddy is being able to look at someone else's video and see the actual tags that, that have been used. And then also being able to look at whether or not anything is ranking. So um, in this case, we have a lot of single. And here, let me make that look better for you guys. Kind of resize that for you. Bear with me for two seconds and we will get it all on screen. There we go. All right. So as I was saying on the right hand side, obviously, this is uh, video lytics, which is provided by TubeBuddy. We can see down here the keywords that were used on the video as well as some other analytical information. But um, I mean, the thing, the keywords, the, the stuff that stuck out to my in my mind, uh, when this video was playing would be obviously you are promoting a company uh, whose focus is on selling hot tubs and saunas. So uh, who is the customer and what might that customer customer be doing on YouTube? Um, you know, the first thing that kind of popped into my head. And again, this framing is come on down here. Resize that just a tad better. And maybe try where to buy hot tubs in Virginia, maybe? Just see what happens when you search those. So see that, yeah, they already have... Um, that market cornered so i would use keyword phrases like like that where to buy hot tubs in virginia where to buy hot tubs in maryland where to buy hot tubs in um was it dc 
Because obviously those people, somebody who's going to come to YouTube and might stumble upon you is trying to find out where the best place is to go to get them. Uh, I would imagine for the most part, um, that is the type of person you would want to find that video. Now, if you went a step further, and, and I don't know whether Capital Hot Tubs does uh, videos on the individual products, that would be also something that would be potentially beneficial to them if they actually um, did specific videos. Let's see what, what they have there for content. And, so oops, all right there. Hot tub sales, swim spas, financing event, hot tub. So it looks like they're creating videos to promote each individual event. Uh, as well, this is good, you know, like videos that are specific to, um, actually, is that all of their videos? Let's see, I wanna do a search here and see if any of their videos why buy an endless pool spa? Yeah, I mean, it, uh, like I said, above and beyond simply providing information about their organization, they could actually drive traffic to their business by doing, you know, kind of spotlights on certain models. Um, I don't know to what extent you're actually working with them in that capacity, but um, in terms of actually trying to get some traction on that video, you know, where to buy hot tubs in Virginia. Obviously, they already have a presence there. Where to buy hot tubs in D.C. See if it's the same thing. They, yeah, they're registering there too. So those seem like strong keywords or, you know, place to start to get that traffic to them. Oh, let's see. Things seem to be moving faster here. Um Yep, Rodney B. Rodney says hot tub install Washington DC. Oh, let's see here. We don't want that. We want this. That's a much better view. All right. Yeah, their views are definitely low. <laughs> um, but I mean, personally, I would think the best way to drive traffic to to that would be to try to find. Um, I mean, I don't know what kind of. Yeah, I mean, I would almost think you would if you had the ability to promote that type of content with like home builders um, or, you know, people who like deck builders, those kind of things, the kind of places that people put hot tubs, you know, they're either installing them in their home, they're installing them on the back deck, wherever the, the case may be and trying to develop kind of collaborations with those types of companies to promote their product. One of the things that I've seen people do in terms of marketing and kind of cross promotional items is you take in those areas. And I would imagine an area like D.C. or Virginia probably has that type of stuff. But you either look for a publication that focuses on that type of content, um, you know, whether that's, um, you know, home creation or home building in the area, that kind of thing and promote there or you actually um you create such a publication that's free for people to offer. You get everybody together uh, and then you give people the opportunity to kind of buy in and share their product or service related to that, you know, and then you can use a bunch of, you know, different distribution things like the penny saver, um, you know, if you have that type of thing in your area, but you can build, you know, do like a little handout maybe in the spring or whenever people actually uh, tend to do the most home building and, you know, get all those companies together and put out some type of publication that highlights all of them and, and gives them the opportunity to share all their products. 
Live Games Wild, thank you for asking everybody to hit the thumbs up. I appreciate it, and welcome to the stream. Uh, I will be happy to do uh, take a look at your channel towards the end. Um, is the stream really that far behind? I don't know how, how quick you guys are seeing it, but I'm actually watching the live stream on a side window and it seems like it's way behind. Or maybe just the replay in the interface is way behind. Maybe that's what the problem is. All right, that's cool. All right, so we want to get back. It's probably easier. <laughs> All right, I will just pretend I don't see it and go with the chat. 70 seconds from typing to chat to appearing on your screen. Um, alrighty. So yeah, definitely stick around live games. I'll be happy to take a look at your channel at the end. And if anybody else who comes on the stream wants a channel review, we can definitely check those out. Happy to do that as always. Um, does, did you find any of that, that valuable, uh, Hicks video? Um, we should definitely talk on, um, you know, offline and, uh, you know, discuss some ways we can kind of help people out like that. So, <coughs> all right. Does anybody, uh, shamanism, did you want to take a look at any keyword research for comedy type channels? And see what types of things that we might see if we can come up with kind of a approach that works for you. If you have anything in mind, we'll definitely take a look. All right, absolutely. Here, I'm going to bring up. I'll bring up your channel. We'll take a look. Everything fit properly here. I think that is close enough. And here we have shamanism. And hey, while we're on this page, and no, I'm not an affiliate or anything like that, but uh, uh, your own Shavit, who runs shamanism, uh, he shared this app the other day or did a, a video about this app called life slice that actually looks kind of like a, a pretty cool concept where somebody starts a they basically start a video um or pose a question uh or a topic and then everybody chimes in with their own 10 second response to it it's a, a pretty entertaining app so if you if um you like that kind of stuff it kind of seems like it could be the next viney kind of kind of experience so um it's actually available in i know it's available in the ios store because i downloaded it it's also an android i imagine he probably has links on that video on his channel so you definitely check it out and when i logged in he was actually one of the people who was recommended to me on the very first page so 
All right. So. Nice. So as an example, I'll, let's, I mean, this might be a tough one because I, I want to kind, tell you about a new kind of a new, a new concept. I don't know how long. Let's see. App here. for creators. Stay tuned. Hi guys and welcome to Shavinism where every Monday we get to chat about something like today and every Thursday there's some comedy and characters. Today I want to introduce you to a new app that you probably don't know of. Uh, it's quite new. It's called Life Slice. I think it's amazing and I want to tell you a little bit about the app. Now, All right. I'll pause that and see what you got here for keyword phrases. All right. Hopefully I effectively muted my mic when I cough there <clears throat> life slice collaboration life slice a uh, great new app for creators yeah the fact that it's a fairly new concept in terms of what to target those are probably let's just see here let's see what we can actually see um If you're trying, I mean, if you're looking for people, obviously, who are specifically going after Life Slice, then, um, you know, Life Slice is the way to go. What I might do with this is try to do things like, um, you know, great app for maybe collaboration. And just see where that gets you. Or, You know, great new. We're gonna just look at this one for a second, then I want to get to an actual comedy one because I imagine those are gonna be a lot harder to, to target. Uh, great new social media app, and play around with those kind of things. Obviously, uh, in 2017, huge. Since it just came out. I would probably target 2018, kind of hit the ground running when people catch on to it and start looking, you know, so you kind of play around with that and, and, you know, use different phrases that can, uh, I probably want to go a little bit lower than that before I started targeting the phrases, but, uh, let's go back to your channel and I want to see, take a I look at tell original comedy, which I imagine has got to be a challenge, um, This looks potentially like it might have some opportunities for keyword phrases because it makes reference to telenovela. This week's comedy, Javier de Santos. All right, so let's see. So uh, you obviously you're you're in your particular characters on chauvinism that you're able to rank for, but um, I might do let's see here. Would that be considered a soap opera parody? Perhaps. And that's a nice small... I mean, it pre-filled, so at least somebody's searching for that. But as you can see, it's really low search results, which would potentially allow you to rank pretty easily at the top of it um, and give you, like I said, that, that trickle effect of getting views over time. So, um, here, Hicks video says, how strong are you on optimization for YouTube live broadcasts? I started producing a weekly show for diamond and silk about two months ago. And while they get a hundred thousand views on Facebook, their YouTube views are 8,000. Well, the one thing to consider, um, and the best way that I've heard it described is for, as far as Facebook views go, 10 Facebook views are equivalent to one YouTube view because the 
um, Facebook auto plays videos. So when somebody scrolls past it, if they pause for a few seconds, it counts as a view. Whereas on YouTube, you need something much more substantial. People tend to have to go to the video and click into it to actually watch it. So I would probably expect to see significantly higher numbers on Facebook. Doesn't really mean you're um, having better results on Facebook. It just means you're getting uh, credit for views a lot easier on Facebook. Hey, British Gook, have a good night. Get some sleep, my man. All right, so I am curious if we do how to rank number one in YouTube search in 2018. And I'm glad that worked out because that would be awkward, but no. <laughs> As you can see, we're on the live stream. Um, live streams are always promoted above other content. So you can see in this particular case, I focused on how to rank number one in YouTube search in 2018 because I felt I could compete in it. And as you can see, because this is a live stream and it is currently live, it gets an even bigger boost than the normal videos. So it's actually ranking number one. Yeah, I've seen a lot of Diamond and Silks content. They are um, they're fun to watch. But this is kind of that perfect example of um, being able to pick those keyword research or those keyword phrases that you can actually compete in. Uh, and you know, and this is it. In far as the the YouTube live experience, it's. I almost say it's easier to rank your live stream because they get promoted above the standard videos. When I was making this, I, I had a strong feeling that, that this could be the number one search result on this based on the fact that uh, it has 100% relevancy, which means I'm actually looking um, we're actually looking at the exact search term that I uh, am competing in. This is the one I focused on. Um, you know, I don't know where it would rank if we just go how how to rank in YouTube search in 2018. You know, where it competes, it's still getting top billing, top five. You know, so uh, you're going to get those different variations. You're going to rank in all those different searches a little bit differently. That's why you hone in on one and focus all your effort on nailing that one because you will get the, you know, the lower ranks in slightly different search terms and together they can help you build your views. So um, that worked out as exactly how I planned it. And I'm good to see that it uh, it provided that that uh, that confirmation. Yeah, and your own, if you ever, I mean, I'm a, it's a challenge, but if you ever have a new video coming out or like you do like a hero video and something you spend a lot of time on, if you want to brainstorm uh, keyword phrases and titling and all that, uh, you know, to try to give it the best, the best uh, release you can, you know where to find me. I'm available on Facebook most of the time. All right. slide this over here so it doesn't look like I'm looking away from you guys and put that over there Does that work perfect Alrighty, okay. Just do a future show specifically focusing on op focus on optimization for live streams. Um, <coughs> excuse me. Yeah, I mean, I, I would, I wouldn't, I wouldn't optimize live streams or in terms of keyword research any differently than I would a regular video. You're still going to find the keyword phrase that you're hoping to target and then do your videos. Now, if you're doing a live stream, 
like a gaming live stream, uh, it's still going to be the same process. You might have to give a little more thought about how to uh, get attention and what type of phrase that you're going to focus on because there's a lot of um, there's a lot of competition. So you can't simply do, um, you know, you can't simply say, you know, PUBG live stream and uh, expect people are, are going to find it. So you kind of have to focus. Uh, if you're going to be playing a specific game, maybe try to focus on uh, something within the game that you can make a highlight of what you're doing. The reality is if you're doing, if you're simply just doing, you know, like a, like a let's play where you're just live streaming while you play the game and you're not really focused on what kind of value you're delivering and you just want people to watch you play, that becomes more of a challenge. Now, if you have a particular objective when you're heading into the game, you know, uh, you know, show people where, you know, depending on what kind of games that you're playing, you know, if it was PUBG, it's like show people where the best, where the best loot is to pick up weapons and vehicles and those kind of things. Then you could focus on that in your video and then you would use your keyword phrase to focus on that topic. Um, the more you can do that, the easier it is to, to rank it. Uh, when you're doing something just general and it's just, hey, I'm going to play the game, I'm going to stream while I do it that becomes harder to do a keyword phrase against because it's so generic. So Hicks Video says, what are your thoughts on running sponsored ads during live if YouTube always demonetizes content? Um, in terms of gathering your own sponsors and running that during your live stream is that what you mean or buying video or buying ads on your own videos you can actually do both there was a big the big demonetization thing that they uh that happened a while back with casey neistat and his fundraiser they had made a there was a big uh, uproar because um jimmy kimmel was running ads on his uh his entire topic about about a tragedy and they said Casey Neistat couldn't monetize it but then Jimmy Kimmel was and it turns out Jimmy Kimmel was actually purchase or his the organization whatever was actually purchasing the ads on their own videos that sort of thing but if you're going to do like pre-recorded promotional videos that you kind of sell beforehand and then you feed them into your live stream I mean that would certainly be an, an option for you Okay, so just a quick Yeah, sorry Hicks video. The yes was so delayed. I don't know what it's yet what you're yesing to. <laughs> Give me a uh, an idea of what you're saying yes to. But yeah, you could certainly um you could certainly create your own your own sponsorships in that regard and put together especially you know, being a, a video producer, yeah, sponsored commercials. Um, you could definitely do that. Uh, as long as you can, people are willing to do that through through your relationship or the traffic you're driving to your live stream, then, yeah, I mean, I assume you're talking about uh, Diamond and Silk. I'm sure there's plenty of people who would want to market uh, on their live streams and you could put together... <coughs> <clears throat> Excuse me. <clears throat> you could put the <clears throat> you could put together those sponsorships throughout the video. I, uh, yeah, I mean, you could definitely do that. I mean, I'm sure with them, you know, you could also develop brand deals and all kinds of things. They, I, I imagine, they have a pretty uh, a pretty decent following and a pretty um, dedicated following. So there's lots of opportunities with that. All right, your own. Thanks for hanging out. Have a good night. All right, so Live Games Wild. Why don't we take a look at your channel if there's anybody else who wants to 
me to pull up their channel, I'm happy to do that as well. Let's see. I just want to take a look and see. It has been a slow evening for sure. But, you know, if I have to go to bed at a reasonable time, that wouldn't be an awful thing. Yeah, I can see, uh, you know, and again, if you ever want to have a, a conversation about all that um, Hicks video offline or whatever, I'm, I'm happy to, to chat with you about that because I would imagine there's all kinds of possibilities with them. <coughs> all right, let me, I want to grab here, let me Give me just a moment, and I will grab. Get that pulled up. Just about there, we'll take a look at a channel here. All right. We can, everything looks good. Live Games Wild. All right, and I'm just gonna kind of fire off the things that jump out to me when I look at your channel. The first thing I see, I see, you have the Live Games Wild up here. I'm assuming uh, that means that you are doing gaming and that potentially most of your content or all of your content is via live stream. Um, the one thing I do notice is that there seems to be a disconnect between the, the branding you have in your channel art and what you've used as your icon. The lettering is different. The background is different. And I probably wouldn't know that these two are associated with each other, seeing them separately. Uh, and let's see what else we have here. Um, let's take a look at your videos seven minutes ago. All right, so, and then down here you have Uh, completely different. You have a complete. You have this. You're bringing down your name, which is good, but you have completely different font and color schemes as compared to your channel art. You really want all three of these. You want your thumbnails and your icon and your channel art to work together. Um, they really want to be a cohesive brand, uh, which just means that uh, you should know that they're related to each other. They should all work together to deliver a single message to the viewer that says, this is who I am. This is what I'm about. This is what you should expect as far as content goes. So it's good that you have that consistency to show people that all of your thumbnails go together and they would potentially be able to understand at least the name of your channel. But I would probably work on trying to get all this tied together. If you've decided to go with orange, um, I, I would probably choose different font than what you have here. This almost looks like a Comic Sans or something. Uh, you know, I do like the font up here, but you basically, you would want all three of these to kind of use a consistent, a consistent look. Uh, let's see what we have here. Description. Last 30 day donators. So you're giving credit to people. I don't know if these are s through the new sponsorship system or how that works. But uh, I would probably include a description above this that actually tells people what you are doing. You know, what type of games are you live streaming? What can people expect? Why should they care? Um... You know, you really want to differentiate differentiate yourself from the other live stream gamers. Mm 
So you have good, good growth. I just want to see. It says you started in two. How is it once a day or multiple a day? What do we got here? Nine minutes, 23, one day, one day. Two days, two days. So it almost looks like you have at least a live stream a day, sometimes two. So, and you definitely seem to be building a good crowd on that. So, that is all working for you. Playlists. Okay, so Friday the 13th is one of the games. Dying Light Tips, Tricks, and Glitches. Oh, that must be another game. Let me look at your home screen real quick. <coughs> uh, I would probably also consider changing up the uploads and popular uploads to your own thumb or your own um, playlists and descriptions. It's good you have those here. This is apparently seems like it's zoomed in a bit. No, it's at a hundred percent. That's weird. All right, and I think you're also see. Yeah, you're also sorting. One of the other things that you can do, depending on how people tend to watch your replays, is to sort by most viewed. Kind of get everybody to see your best content. One of the other things that I've been experiencing or experimenting with is looking at my individual playlists, uh, looking in the subscriber section and determining which video has been most successful at converting subscribers and actually sorting those videos to the front of my playlists. That way when people scroll down my channel page, the first video they see are videos most likely to convert them to subscribers. I'm still kind of testing that theory out about how it works, but you know it's something I've been trying as opposed to simply um, sorting by most viewed. All right, and then this. Have a good night, Rodney. If I didn't already miss you. But yeah, I mean, obviously your channel is doing well. If you want to kind of help it um, to do even better, that the consistency and that branding can can help you kind of um, just kind of polish everything off. Like I said, you definitely seem to have a crowd. You're, you have a good you're a good rate of growth. Um, you know, so now is a real good time to kind of tune everything up and. Make sure it's firing on all cylinders and, and uh, getting as much views and as much conversion on those subscribers as possible. And ultimately, when people are watching one of your videos, if somebody's watching this video and they like it and you have videos, recommended videos on the right hand side of the screen, excuse me, <coughs> you want to make sure that they can scroll through those and figure out that this is also one of your videos and right now they might overlook that as being one of your videos because these look they don't there's nothing that ties them together or gives them enough information to say these are both my videos so that that's just you know one of those little things um that can maybe give you that little extra bump hey d games how's it going Appreciate it. Yep, wrapping up here pretty soon. Um, <laughs> trying out some new things on the stream tonight, and I have mixed results. Do a little bit of uh, post post live stream analysis and see uh, what we can what we can tweak here. But I appreciate you stopping by.
All right. I think if anybody else wants to take a look at your channel or has any questions regarding uh, how to do keyword research for a specific video or topic that you're covering, let me know in the chat. Otherwise, we can wrap it up for this evening. All righty. <laughs> um, Hicks video, I do not do, um, I don't currently do live, or I don't currently do weekly live streams. Um, but it's something that I look to do in the future. Um, I keep them mostly occasionally, so I don't really have a set schedule. And as you can see, it's tonight was a really, a really light night, all things considered. It's usually, I'd say average is probably in the 15 to 20 range. And tonight started really light and ended, ended super light. So, um, that is the nature of live stream though. I would like to rank my recent video. All right, so let's take a look here real quick. And Call of Duty World War II Diamond Camo. Is that... When did you do that video? All right, three days ago, three days ago, Call of Duty. Call of Duty, World War II gameplay, live games wild is... <coughs> oh, the diamond camo SMGs. All right. There Let us take go. a peek. Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to another... All right, here. See if I can get that. All right, I think that is good. Let's transition that and see what you got going on here. I mean, you're definitely on the right track there in terms of ranking. But so the one thing that you didn't do in this in this video is that you didn't use the 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 idea of relevancy when you named it what i would probably do call it a world war ii diamond camo showcase diamond camo showcase in world in world war ii see what i would probably do is take i would take one of these phrases that you're ranking in and i would also double check these green numbers are the numbers of where they rank for you. Um, I would take one of these two, like the Call of Duty World War II Diamond Showcase, um, and do a search in incognito mode in like Chrome and see how you're actually ranking. If you're in that general area, then I would take that and actually use it. Here, I want to see something though. Let's see here. just want to see Duty World War 2 camo showcase oh no wait did that camo showcase in is that right no 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 I was combining two different ones Call of Duty World War 2 Diamond camo space. So I don't see showcase, but I do see SMG. 
So rather than going to showcase, I might use this one and do SMG. 41,000 results, much easier to compete against. I would take this keyword phrase, hey, hey guys, and I would actually change my title to it. I would immediately reference it in the beginning of my description. And I would, and obviously, and then I would include it as a keyword phrase on the video. And then that's how I would do these, these other tags um, is look at all of these other options and see how many relate to your video. The other thing that you can do is, you know, maybe do diamond camo and see what comes before it. Or maybe I would do, what is this? This is WW2 diamond camo. So let's see if, um, maybe we would do COD WW2 and then see what comes before that as things people are searching for, not a whole lot before it. And kind of work out these that way. And the other thing you can do, if it doesn't show you results like this, you can actually come in and look at A, what people are searching for, B, you know, best M, uh, you know, SMG, <coughs> and work your way through the alphabet and find keyword phrases that people are actually searching for. So I hope that gives you some ideas about what you might actually be able to focus on for those keywords. I hope that helps. Just that a bit. Andy Streams, thanks for joining the live stream. All right, so I think we shall call it a night. I appreciate you guys hanging out tonight on the live stream. Uh, if you have not subscribed to the channel and you're interested in seeing videos that help simplify YouTube, keyword research, uh, how to make better thumbnails, uh, and uh, all of that type of stuff that can help you get your content in front of the people that want to see it, please consider subscribing to the channel and clicking that bell notification icon so you don't miss anything. Also, if you have been bitten by the demonetization bug at all, definitely head over to notsuitableforalladvertisers.com. Pick up my free guide on how to protect yourself from YouTube demonetization. Uh, that gives you some tips and some references on uh, how to uh, you know, shield yourself as much as possible from the demonetization that has been going around. I appreciate it, guys. That's all for this evening. And uh, we'll talk to you next time. Thanks.